What's up all? So we're back again with another video. This time just a little bit of a transfer update for you. A um, few little bits and pieces that we're hearing from the club or rumours around the club. Um, some in-goings and, and out-goings. So incomings, obviously, I think I put a video on last night about Pierre Ekwa. It's looking extremely likely we're going to get him on loan. Um, hearing there might be possibly an option to buy in that as well, but that one is, is very much near in completion, so I'm hearing. Um, Nemeth, the centre forward from Nem from um, from Gink, um, Andreas Nemeth, that one's looking like it could be, you know, delayed until the summer. Apparently, Gink wanted him to stay because he's having that much of a good season. I don't want to let him go in January, so looks like that one could be, could be de possibly delayed up until the summer. Um, Joel Geldhart from Leeds, so there's rumours coming out from Leeds today that his future is going to be decided after the Leeds game against Cardiff tonight they've got an FA Cup replay um, against Cardiff where I'm guessing he's going to feature um, and I think from what we can hear or what I'm hearing is that the Leeds have given him the option of where he wants to go I think there's a few teams after him I think us Blackburn um, and, and a couple of other teams Swansea I think is another one who are after him so I think it's going to be down to him to where he goes hopefully he sees the the progression you know that Ahmad's made this season with the loan signs and he, he sees us as an attractive proposition so Geldhard could be another one and um, me personally would love to see that one over the line um, obviously we've still got the possibility of Ellis Sims coming back as well I'm here we're still monitoring the situation um, if things go you know things don't work out at Everton I think we're exploring the option to bring him back on loan till the end of the season um, and also a, a, a one you know off the radar is the one that was is the right back from San Lorenzo I think he's called Augustin Gaillet um, again just rumours flying about on, on various social media sites that were linked with a, a right back I'm not too sure about that one thing so we've got we've got Gooch and we've got Trey Hume and we've got Lugo and Nine that will play there if need be so I'm not sure if we need a, another right back but you know, let us know your thoughts on the on the comments below. Um, outgoings. So there's there's in the last hour or so we've heard that Barry Wright might be a potential departure. Now, you know, reading between the lines, it's looking like Tony Morby doesn't fancy him at all. Um, I think he played him in two or three games where he had no option. But then as soon as Danny Bat was fit, um, you know, we got to the back four. He was kind of out of the team, and then on Saturday. Obviously, when when Luke O Nine got sent off, he brought Bat on and left Billy on the bench, which is a bit of a strange one because me and I, he's done no wrong. Um, but obviously Tony Morby just doesn't fancy him at all. So the rumours are that he's that Aberdeen after him, um, on loan. Now, the link there is apparently Tony Morby's brother, um, I think it's Daniel Dan Morby. I think he's up there as part of the setup in Aberdeen. So they're thinking that maybe you know the the family ties and might be able to get that one pushed over the line. Tony Morby might do his brother a favour, um. But that's what we're that's what I'm hearing is that you know Bailey Wright could potentially be heading out on loan um, to Aberdeen. So we'll just keep an eye on that one before the end of the window. Uh, other than that, there's not very much flying about yesterday. You know, there's there's, there's going to be all sorts of rumours between now and the end of deadline day, but. I think Ekwa is the, is the most one further forward. And um, the rest of them, you know, could go either way. But hopefully, you know, we can start getting some people through the door because we are getting towards the end of the end of the, the transfer window. Now. We've got left, what thirteen days left before the, the deadline. So hopefully, we can start getting some bodies in, um, and 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 kick on up up the league. Um, but we'll see if if Ekwa is confirmed. Then obviously there'll be another video coming out later on if it is confirmed today or tomorrow. Um, any other transfer news we're here, um, we'll be updating you um, ASAP or straight away. But um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below on, on what we just mentioned there. Um, who would you have? Who would you not have? Who do you still think we need to, to bring in? Uh, but thanks for watching. Um, just as a little side note. Um, we've actually you know smashed the 200 subscribers uh target this afternoon and um, we're currently up to 201 so thank everybody who subscribed over the last few days to push it towards a 200 um 
that was my target to get the 200 so I've smashed that so anything else is a bonus obviously we'll now just take it up to 300 and that can we get to 300 um, I'm not going to put a deadline on but if we can get the 300 that would be great um, if you're enjoying the content like I say please like and subscribe but like I say thanks for watching watch out for the match preview for the Middlesbrough game but in between that if there's any transit updates obviously we'll let you know but as always thanks for watching take it easy stay safe and we'll speak soon. Ta-da.